Well, this is the second video I'm doing today, and I had actually planned to do this video for a while. It just the whole Geraldo Rivera thing just made me bring it up now. Um, but I want to quickly ask, what do you guys prefer for how frequently a video? Is once a day good for you guys? Would you guys prefer every other day? A couple times a day? Because I'm trying to do it about once a day, but I'd like to know your thoughts. What do you guys prefer for me? What's the average you guys would like? But on the topic, this whole thing about hoodies, and it's, you know, the hoodie is responsible for Martin being shot. That... Geraldo said. And I have massive issues with this statement. And I've had issues with this for a while. Now, this goes beyond, you know, blaming the victims. You know, women are raped because they wear provocative clothing. You know, gangster looking kids get shot because they look like gangsters. And so on. All this nonsense. But this general idea of clothing. This misconception and idiocy that is throughout society about what one, one wears. This idea that if you wear, you know, a certain clothing, you're somehow more respectable than if you don't wear certain clothing. You know, if you go to an interview, you're supposed to be clean cut, wear a suit and everything. But this doesn't actually tell anything about you. This doesn't tell you if you're actually worth being an employee. It just shows that you can suck up and pretend to look presentable. Maybe you are, maybe you're not. It doesn't actually do anything. Obviously, if you know, you're never going in with dirty clothes, smelling like horse shit or whatever, you're going to get fired. You're not going to get a job. But just wearing street clothes that are clean should be enough. A tie, you're never going to wear in your job. A suit you're never going to wear in a job. This doesn't do anything. Except that you're willing to conform. But even then, it only says you're willing to conform to get a job. It's not going to give a single statement about how good you're going to be at the job. Or how well you're presentable in the job once you get it. You know, the fact that I can iron, increase a suit for an interview doesn't mean that the uniform I'm given at Walmart is going to be washed more than once a week or even a month for a year and these things are the kind of issues I have you know we just we seem to put too much emphasis on what someone's wearing or what not they're not wearing to actually really you know what's the person doing what are they are they a good person or not you know a woman that wears slutty clothes, as people will call it, is she really a slut? Or does she like just like those type of clothes? Do we think it makes her look pretty? No, don't blame the victims. Don't blame the people for what they wear. People like things for different reasons. I used to get teased a lot as a kid because I didn't like jeans. I never liked them because I found they were too tight. I liked, and I've always liked, loose foot-fitting Jogging pants, jogging shirt, and whatnot. They're more comfortable. Especially in rain. <laughs> no, each person has their own idea of what feels comfortable to them. But you also go into the idea of kids, you know. Should a kid should a boy wear dresses? Some boys like to wear dresses. And as I said in the previous video, there's nothing but a dress that says female. This is a cultural thing. A lot of our standards of what someone should wear or shouldn't wear is almost entirely cultural. Hoodies is a cultural idea. The only reason why they get a bad rap is because of people that use them for bad things, but it doesn't state that everyone that's going to wear them is going to do a bad thing. We just have to get beyond this somehow. Get beyond these stereotypes of what a man should wear, what a woman should wear, what a good person should wear, or should wear. You know, 
look at the people themselves, not what they're wearing. What are we going to blame next? You know, and there's also a step out that's even worse than this. And this is the automatic respect and treatment that a priest or a policeman or anyone that wears a uniform that looks, that supposedly gives automatic respect without even knowing the person. And why is this dangerous? Because how many people get pulled over by cops and it turns out it's just a guy in a uniform that's going to rob them or something. It doesn't happen all the time, but it happens. You know, if I want to be a serial killer, wear a priest uniform. I could probably get away with murder, literally, because people would not suspect it. They would suspect that there would be this automatic respect. And people, I've said it before, people do things with people that have perceived authority that they would never do with their own family members. Leave kids with policemen or priests or scout leaders or whatever that they never let their own family members do. No. I'm not saying that we shouldn't give some respect to policemen or other people of authority, but we shouldn't just automatically assume that they're worthy of it just because they wear something. No. Especially in the United States right now where Right now, it's the police that are more of a problem than the criminals in a lot of places. You know, if you agree or disagree, comment below. I'd like to hear your thoughts on this subject. You know, how important should clothing be beyond reason?